Perfect. It's you two. I have a commission here that... The only one's for the job! Ah! <laughs> the Adventurers Guild, all it asks us to do is to find a missing person. Huh? Then why did you say we were the... I came across this commission while reviewing our backlog. Now, it seems simple, but our records indicate that over it, with the reputation of the Adventurers Guild and the performance of the Sumer... Well, that's us for sure! <laughs> If it proves to be beyond your capability... Okay, so who are we looking for? This commission was jointly issued by the residents of Vimar... But the problem is, they don't... Uh, they're all from the same village, but they don't even know his name? Hmm... If so many adventurers have failed to complete this commission, maybe this missing villager doesn't... Unlikely. Several villagers... Besides, putting up a... In any case... It would probably be best to go... All right, then, let's go! Paimon's starting to get really curious about this whole thing. to learn a little bit more about the missing guy. Hello there. Are you looking to buy something? I do business in this area. Oh, no, no. We're... Ah, so you're here about that? To be honest, we aren't holding out much. We pretty much have... So, this person we're looking for, what's his... Uh, I, I don't know. I really... Okay. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't... I know it may seem like... We just don't know the specifics. A at least that's what everyone in the village seems... Oh! Specifics aside, that young guy, in his early twenties probably. I I'd chat with him when I didn't have any customers. I now that you've started talking about him, you don't seem nearly as down in. But of course, everyone in the village is. There aren't many young people like him nowadays. Could he have just moved? To no, he's not the type to leave without saying goodbye. Huh. All right, thanks. For if this commission is really as challenging as Catherine made it out to be, we're gonna need to carry out a very detailed investigation. It's that guests I hear. Hi, Grandpa Amadea. We're here to help you look for the guy that's gone missing. Ah, so that's what brings you to these parts. Coming all this way for our sake. That's so very kind of you. With your help, I trust that young man's case is in good hands. Could you tell us a bit about him? Of course. I'm happy to help any way I can. With my failing eyesight, I'm afraid I can't offer much about his appearance. But I do remember hearing the sound of his voice. Not recently, of course. That loss has left me... F I don't think his parents are still living in the village. But somehow he never seemed lonely. In fact, he was usually the one offering companionship to others. He would often take time to visit the elderly or play with the orphans in the village. And whenever someone had something on their mind, he was there to listen with O As the village chief, I owe him many thanks. Help wow, he seems like such a nice and gentle person. 
No wonder his disappearance affected you all so much. But, um, you wouldn't happen to know any details about his name, address, or family situation. <sighs> I'm ashamed to admit it, but I just can't remember. No matter how you look at it, I should know those things. But for some reason, no matter how hard... Ah, uh, it's okay. There's no need to force yourself to try and... Well, Traveler, what do you think? Paimon thinks so, too. Like, the name thing. And nobody has been able to tell us anything about his fan. Wait, so you're saying it's... Okay, Paimon's gonna need some... You two are the adventurers who just arrived, right? You're here for the Vimara Village Commission? Yep, sure are. We were just looking into the case. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank goodness you haven't given up. My name is Atosa, by the way. I grew up here in Vimara Village. Anyway, I just... Yeah, no need to worry. We'll give it our best shot. So, were you close to the missing villager? Are there any leads you can give us? Hmm... I'm not sure this counts as a lead, but follow me. There's a place I'd like to show you. Is this the place? Under this tree? Yep. I know it doesn't look like much, but this place is very meaningful to me. It's so full of memories. We used to always sit together under this tree and talk. Sometimes we would look up at the clouds in the sky or stop to feel the wind against our skin. We could sit there for hours at a time, never real. I was actually adopted by the people of Vimara Village. The fort I was surrounded by such good people, and growing up in the village was so... Alone? Uh, how should I put it? When something's bothering you, everyone has their own problems to deal with. Really? You know exactly how... Aww. Wow, that sounds really nice. You're quite lucky. When it comes to our missing villager, no matter what came my way, I knew I could... He was so thoughtful and pure ever since he disappeared. No, no, none of those things... Wow. Did he ever tell... Hmm. Oh, right. I didn't know what... Hmm. Uh, look at me. The last time... Oh, come to think of it. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be... Well... Time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed, right? Uh, what's wrong, Traveler? <coughs> hey, look at those hilly tr- <coughs> Uh, the Abyss Order. Could they be the ones behind all of it? Uh oh, we've been spotted! Quick! Order guide! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
much. I wasn't expecting monsters to show up. It was no trouble. Hmm, now that I think about it, they seem agitated and would often attack anything in sight. Hmm. Well, we should head back and check out the situation of... Wait a second. The person! It's... it's Dainsliff! Ah, it's you two. Oh, a friend of yours? Well, I'll leave you all to it then. Yep, see you later, I told... Why do you always have to pop up out of nowhere like that? Is it your life's mission to jump scare us or something? It's hardly personal, or intentional for that matter. As long as you and I are both in pursuit of the Abyss Order, we're bound to cross paths. Ah, so you're here to investigate the Abyss Order then. That would explain the monsters you were fighting just now. Naturally. Hold on. Hmm. No matter. The Abyss Order is most certainly planning something. So you think the Abyss Order is behind the hilly trail activity? As things stand, I highly doubt that is their primary... Still, the hilly trail activity is causing a lot of... The best way to protect them is by figuring out what... And you shall have them. Don't worry. There should... Ah, so that was someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. I would agree that it's unlikely you have a simple missing persons case on your... It appears all we have by way of clues is... Right! That mysterious foot... Hmm. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Hmm. I sense hesitate. There's still hope for the two of you to reconcile. Irreparable damage has not yet been done. The sinner you wish to know about, his situation is different. His name is Vedderfolnir, the visionary. I'm loath to admit it, but he is also my kin. Your brother? There were five of them, the five sinners of Kanria, the wise Roptatir. The visionary, Vedderfolnir. Gold, Rhinedaughter. The foul, Sertologi. And Rehir of Solnari, Rerir. No matter how eroded my memory may become, I will never forget their names. One day, I shall have my vengeance. Wait, some of those names sound really familiar. Rhinedaughter is the one who created Albedo. Sertologi is Skirk's master. And the one we just learned about, Dane's brother, Vedafolnir. If he was the voice of the sinner, then the one who inspired Klotar to create the Abyss Order was him. They were once people of great esteem in Kanria. Those who carried the hopes of the nation. They were the best of their peers, outstanding in their respective fields. Six of us, together. Yet, deep within, the five, so they became sinners, but also transcend. And when the cataclysm occurred, not one, indeed. If they are not stopped, the day, of course, as- So- Dean, what if I've continued to investigate the questions surrounding the Loom of Fate. It's been by retrieving the eye of the first field tiller, we were able to stop part of their plan from coming to fruition. Oh, Paimon remembers! Weren't they going to use it to corrupt Osio and make a god or something? Indeed. However, it's obvious that was just some sort of technical experiment. The eye was integral to their plan, yet somehow, despite failing to obtain it, there are many signs po- Then, what should we do? Our most pressing concern is to determine the purpose of the Loom of- Based on the intel I've gathered so far, I suspect the Loom of Fate is- The ley lines? Traveler, 
You were able to observe your sibling's memories lack. My recent investigation has shown that abyss order activity in a particular area is you. Wait! Then our commission here in Vimara Village. The per it's certainly possible. Well, if we're teaming up with Dane again, we're gonna need all the energy we can get. Let's try investigating. to be certain me memories. I... No. It wasn't a dream. And I'm certain I've never met this person before. I remember handing him the eye of the first... What? Okay, so this missing person definitely has something to do with the abyss. Indeed. And it appears he... Wait then. But why would he do something like... Whatever the abyss order is planning. Well, it's sort of true. That their goal is still to obtain... I am the only person who knows its location. Perhaps your concerns are not, however, can come with me. We must. Oh, so you're going to take. Hmm. Of course. So you hit it way out here? Not an easy place to discover, that's for sure. Well, let's go check to see if it's safe. Traveler, wait. <sighs> We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. Take it easy.
here have changed over time. You can access the upper floor through the side door. Perhaps you should try reactivating the mechanism over there. all the runes are pointing in the direction indicated by the light. That should unlock the mechanism. Ah, the door is open. Let's go. Our destination is just up ahead. any further. Be on your guard. I sense the presence of the Abyss. It's the Abyss Order! They're here! Desolation! Here comes the cat. Illusion shatters. Inazuma shines eternal. The false memories were a trap. The Abyss Order just wanted to follow us here. Now that they're in the vicinity, we should have a chance to see... Dane? What's wrong? Can you feel that? There's been a disturbance in the ley lines. It must be the work of the Abyss. Wow, you must be really sensitive to that sort of thing. You too. Do as I say. Use that mechanism. The Abyss Order is putting something in motion. If you return, just think of it as a way to divide.
I knew going along with your trap would be the only way to meet with you face to face. You risked your safety and that of the Eye? That's quite the gamble, Dainsliff. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap laid by the Twilight Sword. So you came here all on your own? What about those followers of yours? When the Twilight Sword is prepared for battle, any army I could send would only be marching to their doom. Better that I face you alone. I know you must have a lot to say, but if it's a conversation you want, you'll have to defeat me first. farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering, or try such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Uh, did you hear that? What was that sound just now? It sounded so gentle. Could that voice be comforting the hilly trills in some way? Oh, this is weird. Let's check if this is happening anywhere else. <laughs> Looks like the same thing is happening over here, too. The hilly trills are calm. You see, we're both. Still here, we've reclaimed an endless amount of time to love. Release your tears. You no longer need to hold back your soul. Over there, it looks like they're sleeping. In the end, he whispered softly. Sleep well, father. Sleep well, my beloved people. When you awake, that which differentiates us shall be no more. It almost sounds like a poem or some kind of story. Well, now that the hilly trolls have calmed down, Vimara Village should be safe at least. Let's put this situation to the side for now. Dane said this might be our chance to find the missing villager, so we should head back to Vimara Village before it's too late! Abyss Order? Th thank you for your concern, but as far as I'm aware... Well, that's good to hear. Oh, also, you didn't happen to come across any clues about the... Hmm? Huh? Well, you know, the young guy from Vimara Village. That's kind of the whole reason we're here, actually. Ah, I do apologize, you two. At least right now, I can't seem to... But how is that? Uh, all right. Something's definitely not right. We just talked to Grandpa 
some idea about the missing villager. There's no way he could have forgotten. What do you think, Traveler? Could everyone's memories of the missing villager have been a ear right? We should narrow down the possibilities first. Let's go ask someone else then. Someone's gone missing? Who? Ugh, just as expected. Um, that guy you said a bunch of nice things about earlier? He's around 20 years old, and you said he was a kind, warm-hearted person? Oh, I know who you're... Really? You were... There aren't many young people who've earned that kind of praise from me. Then there's only one person who fits the bill. Yeah, I just saw him leave the village. Strange. Bayram seems to remember him. And apparently he just saw him? Do you think maybe it's not that they... Just like what happened with Greater Lord Ruka Devada, no one remembers him. Because there's been a change in people's memories. If we really did travel back to a time before he disappeared, that could explain why the villagers said he hadn't gone missing. If this person only exists in people's memories, maybe we're in someone's memory right now. Right! Paimon totally forgot about the ley line disturbances! We're in someone else's memory! Just like how you entered your sibling's memory last time! That would also explain why we seem to be at a time before he went missing. It's a memory after all! Right. If he's someone who only exists in people's memories, then we're finally on the same turf! But didn't Baron just say that he saw him leave the village with someone? Where should we go look for him? Who knows how long this ley line disturbance is gonna last? We might not have that much time and we don't even know whose memory this is! Good idea! That'll help us narrow things down. We pretty much figured out that the missing villager has the ability to... what we know of his ability? Like, does it maybe leave a trace that would somehow give him away? All the memories seem to be set in or near Vimara Village, but I'm still not sure if they're restricted to this location. If time was allowed to pass within the false memories, there's a higher chance they might conflict with someone's original recollection. That would make it much harder to avoid suspicion. There's a difference between memories that arise from lived experiences and those that are implanted into the mind. Perhaps it has something to do with time. No. Based on what we know so far, there isn't any evidence to support that con- If time was allowed to pass within the f No wonder! All this time and the sky hasn't changed a bit! That mo- That's the tell of the fake memories! The implanted memories are basically taking place outside of the regular- If the memories included the regular passage of time, it would be easy for people to tell that something was off. Like there could be overlap or something. People might start to wonder why they remember doing two different things at the same time. That's why he makes sure the memories take place at a specific moment in time rather than over a period of time. The color of 
of the sky coincides with the moment in time she described. We thought Chief Amadea forgot about the missing villager, but it turns out we're at a moment in time before the village issued the commission. Dainsliff had memories implanted into his mind. Could it be that it's happened more than once? No. Oh, right! That's exactly what... Oh, come to think of it, every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk. Just like right now. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we... This is definitely Atosa's memory. Yeah, that's where they'll be. So, you see, Granny Jahiet was a mercenary when she was younger. She just talks like that out of habit. She's- Oh, there I go again. Always talking about my own things. Do you maybe have any- Um, it's okay if you don't. You- Oh, I- uh, I, I think you're an incredibly strong and thoughtful young woman. You'll meet many amazing people and live a very happy life. You won't miss someone like me. Huh? Are those your friends over there? All oh, right. This version of Atosa hasn't met us yet. Friends? I guess you could say that. It must have taken them a lot of effort to find me. So, I should see what they need. I'm sorry, Atosa. Another time, huh? Um, yeah, okay. I'll head back to the village then. Talk to you some other time. It's nice to see you, Traveler. I believe this is the first time we've met. The founder of the Abyss Order. The Born into abject sorrow, he shall... Dane's brother, one of the five sinners... Your... Kari Bear Alberic. Oh. You know me? That's quite the surprise. I don't believe I've met you before. Oh, I see. It was the memory, wasn't it? Your sibling's memory. You saw... The me from... Back then, this is Atosa's memory. I came here to say goodbye, but I suppose I'll just leave her a message instead.
I suppose you could call it the realm of my consciousness. I'm someone who no longer exists in the real- uh, It's nothing. I still have enough strength to play the part of a good host. Extreme sorrow and pain. Hope and regret coursing through your veins. Father told me that once I possessed all those elements, but despite his intentions for me, in truth, I died the moment the person you see before you now is nothing but a remnant of consciousness left over within the loom of fate. As for your question, the Loom of Fate is a device capable of weaving ley lines. In its primitive form, it can only be used to create and implant memories. But, as more of it is completed, its power becomes stronger and stronger. Once fully completed, the moment it gains the power to weave ley lines, it loses the lower level ability to influence memories. But it also becomes a tool that can change the entire world. Yes. I have the ability to control the loom in its semi-completed form. I suppose you can think of it as a form of compensation. After all, its existence cost me my life. Ah, that. I was wrong to implant those memories. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Not only for everyone in the village, but for you as well. I just... wanted them to feel like I once existed in this world. As if... I had a chance at life. what you must be thinking. Why would I do something so meaningless? <sighs> but I just... I just couldn't accept it. I had to know what it would be like if I had my own life. What kind of Chief Amadea, Baram, Granny Jahiyat, Atosa... What would it be like if I could live alongside them? No cataclysm, no curse. Just a quiet life in a peaceful village. I was curious, so I selfishly tried to have my own life. Even if... Even if that meant piecing together the version of myself that could have been... One memory at a time. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> After all, my life ended a long time ago. Any chance at living was stripped away from me when I was eight years old. My consciousness left to mature in an illusory world of nothingness. Even the form you see before you was nothing but an invention based on my father's appearance. An imagined version of what I would look like if I had the chance to grow up. I know, but there's nothing I can do to make them find me. If I could exist in the real world, I would return without a second thought and surprise them with the suddenness of it all. Ugh. I know. Captain Dainsliff? Twilight Sword, you mean? Uh, no need to meet up with him. Things should already be settled on his end. Exactly. As someone who could only exist in people's memories, the fact that I'm able to talk to you in my consciousness like this can only mean one thing. The loom of fate has already been completed. No need to worry about Captain Dainsleff. He's absolutely fine. 
The only reason he lost the eye was because I happened to guess exactly what he was planning. Captain Dainsliff has had the eye inside his body this whole time, hasn't he? His plan was to lure the Abyss Order to a false location, capitalizing on their pursuit of the eye in order to have the chance to confront the princess. He would then hand the eye to you and tell you to take it away from that location. That way, Captain Dainsliff could accomplish his own goal and ensure the safety of the eye all at once. That's right, because in his mind, he had given it to you already. Before you two entered that false location. Traveler, wait. Hmm? Uh, we've no time to lose. Let's head inside. That was when I implanted the memory of him handing you the eye. Given the tense situation at that time, Captain Dainsliff failed to notice anything out of the ordinary, and took that memory to be real. I'm sorry, Traveler, but I needed the Loom of Fate to be completed. And to do that, we had to re I promise I'm not trying to conceal anything from you, but I truly have no idea what the Princess is planning. Tavat's ley line system is deeply entrenched in the planet. Creating new ley lines can neither replace nor extend the ones that already exist. In the face of everything they could be planning, I fear I'm too insignificant to even get a glimpse of the bigger picture. In any case, I had my own use for the Loom of Fate, and my goal, at least, has been achieved. You remember my father, don't you? Clotar Alberic. After he used the power of the Abyss to restore consciousness to my hilly churl form, I suffered from an indescribable level of mental anguish. To comfort me, my father told me a story that this was a fairy tale world where I had to take on the form of a little monster. That story managed to dispel my fears. My goal was simple to use the loom of fate in its near completed form when its ability to create memories was at its strongest, to implant a specific memory into the minds of the Hillichurls. In that memory, I would tell them a story. Just... I can't change the world. Not when I'm all that's left of my existence is a wisp of residual consciousness tied to the. But now. The bedtime story. Looks like I was too late to see Kari Bear one last time. Kari <laughs> 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 Bear's consciousness is gone. And this space will soon disappear along with it. Neither of us belongs here. That's why we're not tangible. <sighs> Were that not the case, I'd love to hug you too. Well, how about a conversation?
The chance to just stop and talk like this is certainly not easy to come by. Wouldn't you agree? That battle earlier was tough. The one against Dane, I mean. I didn't expect that after everything, he would still hesitate to raise his sword against me. Were it not for that, perhaps I'd still be no match for the Twilight Sword. Even after 500 years. The Loom of Fate, huh? I still haven't found a way to utilize it to its full potential. But there's still time before the Heavenly Principles awaken. Yes, for 500 years now, ever since the Cataclysm in Conria, there's been no sign of activity. Not long ago, you witnessed the Hydro Archon destroy her divine throne. Yes, such a flagrant disregard for the rules, and still Celestia took no action. I suppose that's proof enough of the Heavenly Principles situation. However, the Heavenly Principles will awaken. We just don't know when that will be, or what might trigger it. You could say that. Just look at Kari Bear. He was so pure and single-minded. The space we now find ourselves is a perfect representation of who he was. Quiet and peaceful. Even as a hilly churl, seeing the terrible sight within the mirror wasn't enough to taint his spirit. He brought comfort to the people of this world, even though he was denied the very right to be a part of it. So ask yourself this. Who was it that deprived him of that right to exist? Of course, that's only one example. My feelings about the Heavenly Principles are too complicated to explain in just a few words. <sighs> Ether? You're the only one in this world who calls me that. There's so much I wanted to ask you, but for some reason, I'm not interested in asking those questions right now. There's just one thing I have to ask. One thing I could never understand. Why? Why can't we continue our journey together? Hmm. At the end of my journey, I arrived at a place known as the Sea of Flowers at the end. Do you remember? A long time ago, when we traveled between worlds together, you told me you wanted to find a place in the universe where that one flower was in full bloom. To have a place like that suddenly appear before me. Well, would you think of that as a coincidence? You mean... I miss you too, Ether. But as this war continues to rage, and as I continue to seek that final answer, I don't even know how to face myself sometimes, let alone my own brother. <sighs> What's going on? This space has lost its tether. I doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. In fact, Aside from our inability to physically interact with each other, there's something else you should know about this space. With Kari Bear gone, we won't be able to remember anything that happened here. Everything in this space will be wiped from existence, including all memory of our reunion. You're only telling me this now? Sleepy. 
Paimon's head feels all fuzzy. Oh, Paimon woke up a little earlier than you, so Paimon will fill you in. The villagers said that they saw us sleeping near the village yesterday. Oh, and Dane came by just now? It, he didn't say anything, though. Just made sure that you were all right and left. Kinda seemed like he had a lot on his mind. Hmm, let's think for a second. We were if he was the missing villager that we've been trying to find, right? And after that, uh, Paimon doesn't room Wait. Well, what happened after that? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Sleep. Hey, Ron, you sure seem happy. Did something good happen? Something good? Huh, it's just that, well, the village organized another search party yesterday. So there we were, searching away. According to him, one day around dusk, he was passing by this one tree outside the village, and he saw our missing villager. There he was, sleeping under that tree all by himself. His parents came a little later to wake him up, and they all left together. And after that, well, we all started to feel like that really is what happened. Kind of strange. Oh, and we also remembered his name, Curry Bear. Now, that's not a name you hear every day. Would have been helpful if we remembered it sooner. Well, I hope he's happy wherever he is. Seems like everyone thinks Curry Bear left the village. That's probably for the best. At least, mm. Paimon wonders how it toasts. Paimon didn't see her in the village just now, so... Take it easy. <sighs> hey, Atosa, how's it going? Oh, it's you two. I was just about to go looking for you. I was part of the search party, so I... Honestly, I just... Can't believe I forgot something so important. It's funny, but... I have this feeling he told me the same thing. I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. I'm just happy I got to meet him. So, who cares what happens in the future, right? <sighs> okay, I'll admit. I'm just putting on a brave face. I was dumped. Wasn't I? Otherwise, why would he just leave like that without saying goodbye? <laughs> you don't need to comfort me. I'll be okay. It's just like Kari Bear said. It's the things we overcome that make life more precious. And you know, if he has a- Anyway, thanks for all your hard work, you two. I promised I'd help Granny Jahiet with something, so I should head back. Well, that should be it, right? Oh, right! Weren't you about to tell Paimon what happened after your conversation with Curry Bear? Uh, a picture? What? Thank <laughs> you. 